everyone, Kendra back again, and I thought I would share my one little word book for today. So I'm going to do a um, flip through of January, February, and March of 2017, and my word is explore. So as you can see, I ordered the uh, small acrylic uh, word from Allie Edwards and uh, for my word, and I use that in a lot of uh, photography right now. Uh, when I photograph my pages. So I'm using a snap binder. I didn't get in on the uh, One Little Word um, book in time or the kit. So I uh, went ahead and I'm using a Simple Stories snap album. It's um, got the 6x8. It's a two ring. And I already had a lot of page protectors on hand for this. So I figured I'd just use it up. This is a chipboard divider. And so I printed out the one little word from the digital package, added the 2017, and then I just stamped January on my divider, and I stamped it on both sides. I also did a Pinterest search for different things about my word, um, and just to see what would come up with um, travel and then where else it would take me. And so I um, just keep saving pictures in my uh, Pinterest board. For explore and um, the ones that I particularly like I just print out onto photo uh, paper and uh, and add them to my book as they as they fit so in January's prompt it was all about exploring our word literally um, my word is explore so but it was finding out what it meant and and what really hit us so I did include with um, Allie encouraged us to to add a picture of ourselves and so I included that um, I also added the little January button it's in the kit as a as a rubber piece but I just printed it and then cut it with a circle punch uh, she also asked us to get curious about our word uh, in January so I found this quote on Pinterest and I thought that was fun it really fit uh, my word next we were looking at the definition find a quote the whole reason why we wanted to do this project, and then what we needed to let go of. Then there were some six by eight full pages um, for both intentions and then the year ahead. I decided um, to combine mine and do the journaling. I do a lot more writing on the computer, so I I decided to to do all my journaling on the computer this month, and um, and actually most of the time that's what I will do, and. These were two separate files. I just did kind of a drop in uh, Photoshop Elements, and um, I added the word and, and then I added the title. And I just thought that was a good way to, to do both on one page. I'm looking at a lot of things of my word about exploring um, the physical, like what's around me, going to new places, so forth. Emotional, uh, what I need to explore about myself, um, relationships that I have creatively what I want to explore, uh, and spiritually in my faith life. So then I um, added, I used the background stamp from Ali Edwards, uh, uh, the one little word package, and um, I just did a tone on tone stamping, and then added yet another picture from Pinterest, and um, this was from the, uh, um, the Messy Circles uh, stamp set. For one little word. I'm pretty sure that's one little word. It might be the messy circles just on its own. I also had some action items that I that I was working on for January and um, so I went ahead and included those and I added just some filler cards and then I had four action items. So I, f I finished those and then it was time um, to move on to February and so I found yet another picture on Pinterest um, that had to do with the February prompt, and the February prompt dealt with um, practicing something. Well, exploring my life through pictures and stories is a big part of what I want to do this year. I want to be better at journaling, better at taking photos, and so what better way to practice that is to take a meaningful photo each day. So I have my, uh, my chart of what I did, and I did finish every day. Um, and uh, I just added the reason why I wanted to do that and then what my practice was that day. This is from a uh, Tailored Expressions die, and this is from an older Allie Edwards set, uh, a photography set. 
And then this was a digital card that I printed from the One Little Word. This is from Pinterest, another picture that I printed. I just printed it at home on my uh, and printed it as a 3x4. I trimmed it a little bit and then mounted on paper. Each month you'll notice I'm picking a different color scheme to go with craft cardstock. I love craft cardstock. And so I just decided to, to pick a different color each month. First uh, January was blush, uh, February was red. Um, and so then I added my reflections of uh, what I felt like how the process went in February. And I was really happy with, with how it came out. So each day in February I took a picture and I documented because I wanted to make my photos meaningful. And then I did a double page spread on the pictures that I took each day. I wanted them to fit on a double page spread on the 6x8. Uh, so I trimmed them with just a circle punch. I added the day so that if you looked back on the list you could, could see what it was. Um, and then I, I just added a little bit of journaling on most of the pictures. Some, if it was too dark, I didn't add those. And then that's the rest of the month documented. So for March, uh, again, each month I'm just printing out the um, the monthly tab and cert cutting it out with a circle punch. Another Pinterest picture. This month my color scheme was um, like a turquoise. And it was storyboards were the theme or the prompt for this month. So I picked out several magazines this, and I found several backgrounds that I really liked. I thought this uh, tapestry background with all the, the cool fabrics was would be a fun thing for travel because you see so many things in different cultures. Um, and so I just said, go escape, look to find your adventure, discover and make memories, adventurous calling. So I just found those things and, and kind of made that word. The next one is um, was myself or me and I just used some sticker letters from uh, Studio Calico and on this background piece found those different words and added a little chipboard heart that color uh, the color matched. Next was us, and it's all about relationships, embrace time together, set your sights on love. I just thought that was kind of a romantic picture. Creatively, uh, again, I added these pictures with, or these, I'm sorry, these sticker letters from uh, Studio Calico. And then added the words. And then the final one was Faith. I saw a pretty picture. It already had a Bible verse on it. And I added some, uh, some stickers uh, from... Illustrated, uh, illustrated faith collection, and then also some uh, some things I found in uh, magazines. So I wanted to go ahead um, and add my action card for my vision boards, some um, some buttons, uh, some messy circles from the One Little Word set, and some more pictures that I found on uh, Pinterest, and then an, a reflection card from how I felt that the uh, the March prompt applied to what I was doing and then I found another picture on my uh, on Pinterest so that's kind of where I am with my word explore I'm kind of ready for April's prompt and we'll see where it takes me I hope you enjoyed my little walkthrough for the first three months and uh, have a great week